Hey guys, um, this is uh, probably going to be the last haul that I do for the time being. Um, we'll just start off right now with this Qbert that I got for PlayStation 1. Uh, as you can see on that sticker, I only paid $5 for it. The sticker will be coming off because I don't leave that stuff on. But the store that I bought this from has a seven day guarantee so I always leave them on long enough to where if there's something wrong with it or if I don't like it I can take it back. Uh, it's usually never the case though. Um, I haven't really had a chance to try this out uh, but all that really matters to me is that the original version of Qbert is on here and it is so that's reason enough to have it. It's also on Dreamcast and probably other systems but this is the one I could find, so I got it. Okay, next up is Soul Calibur Broken Destiny for the PSP. And um, this, it's pretty good. I like it. It's it's uh, it's Soul Calibur, and it's on PSP, which I uh, I'm enjoying the PSP a lot right now. I'm kind of favoring that as a handheld for uh, the time being because I just I, I really use it a lot and um, it's been very handy to have around uh, even inside you know when I'm at home which is all the time but uh, we're gonna be going on a very long road trip and I wanted to get some new games for it that uh, <clears throat> would be good to have a long with us as we journey to another state and Soul Calibur fits the bill and it has really decent graphics um, has some strange gameplay modes uh, that's about it all I have to say about that and for I also got Tekken 6 for five dollars and that's a good deal. It has the manual and it has the case. Uh, the graphics on this I don't really think are as good as Tekken 5 for the PSP, but it doesn't really matter about the graphics. Uh, it's the gameplay that really counts and you know it's it's typical Tekken gameplay and um, I was screwing around with this a little bit and um, it doesn't have the story mode thing from the, uh, the PS3 and uh, the Xbox 360, which I actually haven't played, but I know it's on there. Um, but for a PSP game, and it's you know a, a Tekken game for PSP, so good deal. Happy to have it. Next up is SNK Arcade Classics Volume One. No, there isn't a Volume Two or anything like that, but. Uh, I think Japan has a volume zero or or maybe uh, somebody made that themselves I'm not too sure uh, this I have on PS2 and I always read on message boards that the PS2 version was awful horrible garbage and the emulation was so bad and I really don't know I, I, I have nothing to compare it to I don't have a Neo Geo I don't own one that's why I have this and um they do just fine. The, the PS2 version is just fine. And this is also excellent to have along with you because it has so many different kinds of games. And uh, if you get bored with one, you can just really quickly switch over to a different one. And I love compilation discs like this. And um, I'll probably do uh, a, a rundown of, of compilations at some point in the future because I... I uh, I actually got into the 32-bit era based on compilation discs, and I'll go into that a little further in detail at some point. Um, that was also, a, you know, an idea I had percolating for a little while. Um, this has the same games that are on the PS2 version, which are Art of Fighting, Baseball Stars 2, Burning Fight, which is basically the SNK version of Final Fight, Fatal Fury, which I used to play instead of Street Fighter 2 because there was never a line to play it. King of the Monsters, which I have talked about before. Um, isometric Smash Stuff 
fighting monster games with a superhero character in it also it's just a lot of fun to play a lot of fun to play a lot of fun to play okay got that out and uh, last resort kind of like our type two player co-op a lot of fun really hard great music magician lord a very early neo geo game and it's uh, also really great side-scrolling platform action game very hard um, if you try to one credit that game you're gonna be working at that for a long time metal slug a classic undeniable classic neo turf masters uh, I imagine that is a golf game and I don't give a shit about that stuff samurai showdown uh, another classic Sengoku odd um, odd final fight type of game uh, where you kind of shape shift and go into different dimensions and stuff like that. It's a, it's a weird game. This uh, It's hard to describe, but you know, it's Sengoku. It's classic. Everybody's played it, I think. Shock Troopers. Kind of like um, Bloody Wolf. It's an arcade well, it's an arcade type. It is an arcade game. Arcade type of game like Mercs uh, kind of top down shooting sort of isometric uh, a lot of fun Super Sidekicks 3 um, I'm assuming that's soccer I don't really know for sure though um, King of Fighters 94 very early King of Fighters good stuff um, Top Hunter and I don't really remember that I think that's a top-down shooting game and World Heroes which is a hilariously bad Street Fighter ripoff um, it has an Inspector Gadget M. Bison not T guy he's, he's really funny his name is Brocken and also picked up Deadhead Fred this is a very strange 3D platformer for the D, the PSP and um, uh, you uh, the gameplay mechanic is that you swap your head with other heads and you use the uh, attributes that are um, given to you by using different heads to get through different areas and um, I haven't given much the time to this particular game yet but I am gonna be going on a long trip to Spokane from Arizona so I might be able to finish this or I might get tired of it and not ever play it again who knows uh, I have given it a shot so far and it's weird it's very weird and again, I don't like UMD movies, but I had to pick this one up because it was only $2 at GameStop. And I also snatched up um, an a, a, uh, a instruction manual for every Extend Extra, which I just kind of stuck in here. And, you know, I basically stole it, but, you know, it's not like they don't throw stuff out at GameStop. So I don't think they really care if you remove things like that from the store you know it's not like they said hey put that back because I, I did it rather blatantly anyway um, I love this series and uh, I, I just couldn't pass it up for two dollars even though I really really think that the UMD videos didn't do anything to help the PSP I think it did a lot to damage it Okay, next up, Fist of the North Star, Ken's Rage for PS3. I got this the same time I got the Eon Flux, and um, a lot of people, I, I, I keep hearing that this game is not very good, but you know, I'm a little hard of hearing, so uh, I'm, I've, I've been a long time fan of the manga and the anime, and... Um, so I, I just picked up the game, and I, I already had played the demo, and I knew exactly what I was getting into, so I enjoy it, despite what other claims are made online. Uh, I really don't read reviews, I don't really care to know what uh, some schmuck on IGN has to say about a video game. I'll play it myself and find out whether I like it or not. 
and I like this game and I kind of wish that there was a hard copy version of the sequel on the PS3 but there isn't it's download only uh, in the US that is I'm pretty sure there's a hard copy in Japan um, and next up uh, sorry about that I have to bend over really far to pick these things up Rayman Origins and this was a breath of fresh air. I have never seen this in action until I bought it. Um, it looks very, very much like the cover artwork. I mean, it looks like a these, the, the the animation and the graphics. They look like it looks like a cartoon. It looks like it's beautiful. This game is amazing looking, and I haven't been this enamored by. Um, how a game looks and animates and flows since the 16-bit days when I saw uh, th games like Castle of Illusion for the uh, Genesis and Aladdin on Genesis in action. For, uh, a game hasn't really blown me away like that since those days and this really just kind of made me it, it brought out the kid in me again and I can't wait to really dive into this more because I haven't really given this uh, much of um, a playthrough to uh, really get into it or anything. Um, I'm currently trying to play God of War um, Ascension and I'm stuck at one part and once I beat that game I'm going to be moving on to Uncharted and once I beat Uncharted it's either going to be Uncharted 2 or something else that I've picked up. And, uh, I, and this is the last thing I grabbed. It was an empty box for Infamous to go with the uh, downloaded copy of Infamous from the great PlayStation Network Crash. And this was the free game that I downloaded, and I rather regretted it pretty quickly because I really don't have the kind of time to invest in a game of this scope and scale. But, uh, yeah, I like the game enough, I guess. I just doubt I'll probably buy any of the other infamous games afterward. And I guess I don't have it with me, but I also... Oh, here it is. Yes, I do have it with me. PSP uh, this is a car adapter because we're going to be on that long drive, and this is very necessary. Oh, boy. So that concludes this haul, um, comment if you want, and uh, I'll see you guys when I get to Washington. Alright everybody, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.